hello friends how are you i hope you are doing good uh, i have not made videos from last one week because i was not feeling well i have to so first i would like to ask apologies for that uh, today uh, we'll start with a new topic which is nowadays nowadays it is going it is becoming popular day by day uh, in java framework which is vortex so uh, you would have heard about vortex so when you uh, when you talk about um, spring boot right so there are some other alternatives for uh, spring boot so one among them is the one of the component competitor for spring boot is vortex so other one is also there is one lightweight um, uh, one more component is there i have created one video which is um, java java lin java lin so so today we will see what is vortex and uh, what is it offering and then we'll uh, i'll make series of uh, videos on this so how to create verticals what is each feature so today what we'll see what is vortex first so open your favorite browser type vortex java then uh, we have vortex core manual so just go there so we'll see what is what is it offering uh if you see this right so what is the set of java apis that will that we call as vortex core okay so there are two mainly there are two parts in uh, vortex vortex core and vortex web okay so um, this using vortex so these are the features we can um, achieve with so we can write the tcp clients and servers we can write uh, http clients and servers including the web sockets support and if you have multiple uh, verticals then via event bus we can communicate with uh, verticals and we have they have something called shared data between the uh, between the verticals if you wanted to share the data then this will be useful and we can write the jobs using periodic and delayed actions and we can deploy and deploy the verticals so dns client is there file systems is there high availability so these are the features it is offering so if you uh, exclude this so i i'll tell in a simple terms so vertex mainly if you are not comfortable writing multi threading uh then using vortex core vortex internally it will create threads for you you don't need to write multi threading way of coding vortex internally provides you the multi threading uh, uh, concept so when you are creating when you are deploying the verticals you specify how many number of vertic uh, threads you want those many number of threads it will start and when you pass the message to that particular vertical it will take care of giving the allocation of that particular uh, um, uh, message to the particular thread so if you wanted to do it in plain java what we have some framework called executor framework and all so we have to write threadings and then using the executor framework we can uh, fire the messages so we can say let's say we have five uh, threads so i wanted to distribute the data between five threads then the executor framework or something we have to write so that part vertex is offering here that is the main advantage uh, uh, that one advantage uh, the uh, biggest advantage and it is becoming popular because of it is offering web services so we can write web services using vertex we don't need any inbuilt server we don't need any server to deploy okay because of this it is becoming more popular more and more popular and vertex is also is um it is reactive kind of programming okay so that will also be one of the biggest strengths because of these features so if if i summarize it so vertex it is offering we don't need to take care of multi threading so vertex will provide the multi threading that is number one so number two between mul uh, multiple threads if you wanted to communicate multiple threads we have to write 
thread communication and all the wait notify notify all and all so that we don't need to do here so we wanted to communicate via u and bus we can communicate uh, between the verticals so verticals are nothing but threads here so so and um, it offers the third biggest feature is it offers web services so using uh, vertex we can write web services so these are the uh, benefits because of vertex guys i hope this will help you so what we'll do in the next session is so we are going to create a vertical and deploy it and then uh, try what what and all we can perform with it and then we'll write web services all those things okay one by one one by one we'll see i hope this will be helpful uh, for you if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel guys i have made some uh, java videos as well so i have created some separate uh, uh, playlist for that core java playlist you can go to my channel and go to playlist called core java i have made one more uh, playlist called containerization so there you can see some docker how to install docker on windows all those stuff if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and share it to your friends thank you guys